Open Access Publishing Open Access versus Deceptive or Predatory Publishing What does it mean to say something is open access? Open access publications are peer-reviewed works that are made openly available to anyone, anywhere. Open access is often confused with predatory or deceptive publishing. In fact, they are not the same at all. Predatory or deceptive publishers are businesses that do not follow accepted scholarly publishing best practices. Typically, works do not undergo peer review and the publisher does not add value with other services like professional copy editing. Publishing Open Access Open access publishing can increase citations and some funders require it, including Canada's three federal funding agencies, Canadian Institutes of Health Research, or CIHR, the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council, or NSERC, and the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council, the SSHRC. There is a spectrum of options to make your work open access. To understand them, let's first take a moment to consider the traditional model. In the traditional model, authors submit manuscripts to journals who orchestrate the peer review process, final copy editing, and proofreading, formatting, and then publication at no cost to the authors. The authors typically sign over copyright to the work, which becomes the property of the publisher, not the author. The publisher's revenue comes from selling access to the work. One problem with the model is the increasingly high cost of access. This means that many researchers who would benefit from your work and cite your publication may not be able to read it. In contrast, open access journals perform the same steps to publication but with key differences in certain details. The authors pay an article processing charge, or APC. This is a fee to the publisher after a work has been accepted for publication and the authors often retain copyright of their work and may share it and post it wherever they wish. Open access journals are freely available. Hybrid journals are traditional journals that allow authors to make individual articles open access, while other articles in the same issue may remain behind a paywall. In this model, traditional and open access published articles can exist side by side. Mirror journals are open access versions of traditional journals. They share the same title, editorial board, submission process, peer review policies, and impact factor, but are published as a separate part of the journal. Unfortunately, sometimes high APCs mean that these open access options are not always feasible. Another option is called green open access. This is where authors publish using the traditional model, but may post or share it according to certain restrictions. There are a lot of variables involved in this option. What version of your work can you share? A. Publisher's final formatted version. B. The final peer-reviewed version you submitted to the publisher, the postprint. Or C. The earlier version you originally submitted for consideration, which has not yet undergone peer review. Or the preprint. Where can you share? Sometimes sharing is only allowed in certain venues, such as institutional repositories like Dalspace, and forbidden in others, such as websites or social media sites, including ResearchGate. When can you share? Are you allowed to share your work in a repository or other venue right away? Or must you wait for an embargo period to pass? The journal itself is the most authoritative source for what kind of green open access policies it may have. But a shortcut is available through a database called Sherpa Romeo, which can be found in the description below. Green open access may allow researchers to meet funder requirements while avoiding APCs. It may also expand the options available if a researcher wants to publish in a journal that doesn't offer an open access option. Tips for open access success. A bit of planning early on can help with making your work open access go smoothly. When embarking on a new project, researchers should consider their possible funding sources. Do those funders require open access or permit open access APCs as an expense? What are the desirable venues for the outputs of your project? You will want to know if they offer an open access option, and if so, what are the APCs? 
if an open access journal is not available or feasible, is green open access an option with your desired journals and under what terms? The range of open access publishing models mean that open access is possible in most circumstances, and researchers should be encouraged to explore their options. For more information on open access publishing or assessing the legitimacy of a journal, consult the Dalhousie Open Access LibGuide. You can find the link to this guide in the description below. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.